Remember that moment when you are playing that online car racing game and you are trying to tune your vehicle in order to win races against the computer or against your friends, but you didn't really own the vehicle as it belonged on a server which could have been shut down. Well, now things have changed thanks to Phantasma Chain's free non-fungible token minting you can own that vehicle as well as car parts to build a vehicle and in this video I'm going to show you how. Stay tuned. Okay, so it's time to go through the tutorial and not only am I going to do a gameplay tutorial in this video but I'm also going to look at the website 22series.com which can be found in the pinned comment of this video uh, in case you're interested to play this game and try it out for yourself but I'm also going to go through some of the features on the website to kind of help you familiarize yourself with what you can actually do and how you can own your vehicle because this is what it's all about not only the vehicle but also the car parts these are all non-fungible tokens uh, as I was saying in the intro of this video and uh, other than that I'm also going to cover the pavilion hub which is actually the hub that connects the blockchain world with the gaming world and pretty soon it is going to be available on Steam so you will be able to use a pavilion through Steam to interconnect the Phantasma blockchain with Steam right uh, and of course play this game so all the gamers that are on Steam are not even going to know they're using the blockchain but they're actually going to be using it right because they're going to own those NFTs so that is pretty awesome right the way the Phantasma managed to interconnect and not to mention that Phantasma have free minting so that means uh, game developers can mint non-fungible tokens for free uh, which should pretty much attract them, right? Who doesn't want free stuff? Now, uh, as you can see, there is a pre-season sale here at the moment. So here you can get more information on the true asset ownership, like I was saying earlier, smart contract payments and so on. Now, this is how many items have actually been minted so far, 267,725. The sale will be ending in 19 hours and 47 minutes. Now, the pit pass is one of the things that you can get in. It's, it's basically an access card which allows you to build a vehicle using car parts, right? It is 30 soul. Now, everything you buy with, every time you buy something with soul on 22 series, it's actually, it works out cheaper than if you pay, pay with your card. Uh, the option to pay with your card is, of course, if you buy GOATI tokens and GOATI tokens are actually stable, they're pegged to 10 cents per GOATI token. So when you pay by card or by pay or with PayPal and you get uh, GOATI tokens, then uh, you're pretty sure that the price is not going to dump on you, right? Because it's not volatile. It's not a crypto. It is a cryptocurrency, but it's it's stable. So it's not volatile, right? It's not uh, it's not likely to, to dump in price. But again, with Sol, you do get a pretty big discount. So that's something also to keep in mind. And Sol as a token has been pretty stable. Uh, and if you're interested to know, again, not financial advice. If you're interested to know where you can get Sol, you can get it on Qcoin. You can get my referral link to Qcoin Exchange, which is a cryptocurrency exchange. Uh, from the description of the video, it would help uh, support this channel too if you do that. If you already have an account with Qcoin, no problem whatsoever. That's where you can get it. It's called Sol. Just as you can see here, that is the ticker symbol. And uh, it is on the NEO blockchain, but that's uh, for another video. Uh, it has been talk talk talked about quite a lot in uh, in many of my videos. But if, you're, if you have any kind of doubts or any kind of queries on how you can actually manage the transfer of uh, Sol uh, from these wallets or from these exchanges over to your wallets in order to play this game, uh, do check out my other videos. I've done many, many videos. I'm going to post a link to one of them, which is with Phantom Wallet, uh, where I've done a tutorial on how you can actually use it. That would be more appropriate for an explanation on how that works. And also a link to the Phantasma Chain Telegram group where the admins are very helpful there and also the community. So they will be able to help you with any kind of questions or doubts you may have. And as always, you know, you can drop me a comment in this video and I'll help you as well. Uh, now, the 24-7 race license is the important one because this is what you need in order to play the game, right? You need to buy this to play the game. Again, it's cheaper with Soul, 1002 Soul or 500 GOATI, uh, which works out at 50 bucks. Um, now, the bonus, uh, pre-season buyers also receive the Phantasma Blue Vehicle NFT, which is available during pre-season sale period only right so you can get that 205 of these were minted uh, now with regards to the 24 7 race license you can get quite a lot of it right it's not uh, limited so you obviously they want players to play so they're not going to limit that but uh, before we look at pavilion which is the hub that links blockchain with the uh, with the gaming world let's take a look at some of the pre-loaded wallets and what you can actually get 
So assuming that you want to get GOATI tokens, you can do so. It is 10 bucks for 100 GOATI tokens. You also get 0.1 SOL tokens and 0.1 KCAL with the starter pack. Again, you can pay via PayPal or with your debit or credit card here. Uh, there's a Safari option too. Uh, now what's interesting is with the uh, Palladium wallet, you get 10,000 GOATI tokens, but you also get this vehicle. So uh, you get the GOATI tokens to spend on um, maybe car parts or maybe other vehicles, but not only that, you also get this vehicle. So that is pretty cool. Now it is expensive. I got to say that it is $1,000, but considering that it's scarce, then, you know, you could always sell it at some point in the future. I know that I have been playing blockchain games where I've been paying hundreds of dollars uh, for a simple character that didn't do much. Whereas with this game, you can actually play it. That is pretty cool. You can use this vehicle to play it uh, as if you are playing a console game. So this is the game changer right here. Playing a console game, but actually owning the vehicle in your wallet. How cool is that, right? Uh, now the Titanium wallet uh, gives you that vehicle and it's $2,500. And this is the best vehicle that there is. I don't think there is one that can beat this one. It's the Goatee Black. It's very expensive. It's $5,000. It's not for everybody. But there are people out there that are willing to spend that much in order to play a game and to own such a, a powerful vehicle in order to win races and of course win competition and th thus win prizes prizes means money as always you know so you can always kind of earn that money back at some point by winning all these races and all these competitions uh, now there are the parts too that you can get these are fairly cheap 30 uh, for 30 soul but they are random right so it's all about luck dependent here hence why they're so cheap or buy them for 15 goatee uh, now there is a world championship going on at the moment, um, not, it hasn't started yet but it will pretty soon, it's called the preseason world championship, $10,687 have been uh, built up so much uh, so, so far into this, uh, into this prize pool, so that is pretty cool, 10% of all the sales go, go towards this prize pool of the first championship, it's the first championship right, so there will be more championships and here we can see some stats on these vehicles, the Phantasma White has almost the max power here as you can see four lines the kraken vehicle uh, arrow is max uh, steel series this is the one that i've got uh, amd neo economy uh, this is the phantasma gold which is pretty expensive right uh, it's not it's not it costs quite a lot it's thirty four thousand five hundred sixty seven soul uh, because this has has been bid for right you have to bid to actually get it it's in an auction as you can see here this is an auction uh, so the auction actually uh, started on the 19th and is going to end tomorrow, 21 hours remaining. And we can see who has bid the most. It's Vincent, who's actually an admin in, in Phantasma Chain Group. Uh, he's winning the bid so far, unless somebody will outbid him. And of course, if you bid and you don't win, you don't lose the soul. So don't worry about that. Uh, you only uh, pay for what you uh, for what you win. Uh, so yeah, this is pretty much it from the website. Now I'm going to get straight into the Pavilion Hub to show you how it looks. And here you go. I've already downloaded this. This is how it looks once you download it and install it. Uh, this is the home page where it gives you all the different information. Pretty much the same as the website. But if we go to the store here, you can see if you don't have any GOATI tokens, you can add them to your wallet. We've got the library section here. And here, uh, this is important because when you download this and you go to the library section, you're not going to see 22 racing series yet, right? And the reason being is because you actually need to unlock it. And you unlock it by buying that um, that card that I was telling you about earlier when we we're looking at it, which is the 24-7 race card. Uh, okay, so once you get that card, then this is going to unlock. You'll be able to download the game, which is quite large, right? It's got a couple of gigs. And then you'll be able to play it. As you can see, I'm not licensed because I'm not logged in yet. So I'm going to log in. Uh, this is the inventory here. Uh, this is the marketplace where you can see all this information. Now, keep in mind that this marketplace is different than the marketplace uh, that you saw in the Phantom Wallet video. If you watch my tutorial on Phantom Wallet, because that marketplace is a marketplace between players, between other people, people like you and I wanting to sell uh, non-fungible tokens to others, right? You can decide what price you can sell a vehicle for, right? So people can buy it that way. Uh, it's not limited. Whereas this marketplace is referring to kind of like a token sale because you are pretty much bidding here. Uh, so so that's, that's pretty much how it works. There's the buy now listings as well, right? And the auction. This is the auction section and this is the buy now listing, which is pretty much you pay and you get it straight away. The community and so on. So let's go here to the login section. This is the login here. And now on the login part, I've already added the WIF here, which I'm going to log in with with the Phantasma wallet. 
Steam is not available yet, but it will be. So as you can see, Pavilion Hub allows you to do that. Discord too, if you want to talk to other gamers and Pavilion, if you want to create a username and password and you're not interested in blockchain yet because you don't understand it. So you log in here. I'm going to be logging into my wallet, right? As you can see on the top left hand corner of the screen, it tries to create the connection. It did. So now if I go to the inventory here, we can see I've got the vehicle that I was telling you about, the Steel Series, which I own, right? I own this vehicle. I can use this vehicle to race. And I've got the racing card, which is the 24 7 race license. Now let's go to the library. And here you can see it's no longer locked, and I can actually run this game. So let's get straight in and play it. Okay, so we're going to start the race right now to see it in action because there's no better way to see it but in action. So I've got my vehicle here. I'm going to click on race. I'm going to go to uh, individual. I'm actually going to go to head to head. Select this. Solo. And start. Okay, I need to give it some time to load. I'm going to choose the blue team. Ready. Okay, here we go. Got my acceleration button pressed already. Wow, I just went through that vehicle. So I'm actually meant to... I'm, I mean, look at this. I mean, I'm playing this with the keyboard and it is pretty smooth, right? And I don't have like a top spec computer for gaming or anything like that. It's just a laptop. But the quality is pretty awesome. And you're meant to get, get these because you actually get, uh, you get some bonuses, right? If you go through these circles. For some of them, you even get boosts and stuff. That is pretty cool. So you can change the view as well, if you're only interested to see this instead of the uh, actual vehicle. Wow, look at this. This view is pretty awesome. Wow. So this is like Gran Turismo, you know, it brings me back to that day when I used to play Gran Turismo on PlayStation. So amazing. I haven't played racing games since then, so. Blue Team wins. So yeah, this is pretty much how it looks. I mean, it is pretty cool. Let me know what you think again in the comments below. What do you think of 22RS? Are you going to try it out? Are you going to play it? I mean, the graphics are amazing. Considering you own these vehicles, I mean, that's even cooler, right? So that's it from today's video. I'm going to do more videos like this with other blockchain games as always. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.